Gene and I met in a very unexpected way. I don't usually try to interact with someone on a normal day, but I couldn't really avoid her. What are you listening to? Sorry, what? I was I was wondering what you were listening to. Nothing you like. How would you know what I like? You are lying, nothing. Why? Why? What? Why aren't you listening to anything? Uh, I don't like social interaction. Yeah, it was painfully awkward, to say the least. But don't judge me. Everyone has their secret way to get around talking to people. Mine usually worked. Isaac. Isaac. Something to listen to. To be entirely honest, I didn't know what it was at first. Yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but it's the truth. I didn't know what to do with it, so in result, it just sat on my shelf. But after a while, I actually looked into it. It was when my best friend discovered the tape that I finally grasped what it truly was. But trust me, it was a degrading encounter. Hello, Isaac! Can you- NOTHING! No! No! Nothing! It's not to Isaac! Who gave you a cassette? I found it, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You found the to Isaac cassette. Come on, have you listened to it yet? No, I ha- I didn't even know what it was. You Until now! Until know what a cassette was! Have you never seen an 80s movie before? the best movies. Wow. Thanks, Luke, for making me feel great about myself. Oh, no problem. We need to listen to this. How? I think there's an antique store by Lake Line. Get driving! Why? Didn't you see the note? What note? It was true. Jane left a note inside of the tape. To the sad little boy on the bus stop, Isaac, it read. You're lucky I had this on me. Go to your favorite place in the world and listen to these for me. I'll be expecting a note after with your thoughts. My address is on the front. Jane. I don't know what came over me, but I knew I had to do as the note said. I went to this field five minutes away from my house. I never expected I'd be going there to listen to music from a random girl at a bus stop. But from that moment on, my life started. See, I'm not saying that every tape handed to you by some random girl would change your life. I got lucky. I got lucky with Jane. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the story. Eventually, I ran out of songs. I sent her a letter. Two days later, volume two of the tape came. Then volume three and four. But it wasn't until autumn when I saw her again. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty. She wasn't what I'd imagined at all. <laughs> Jane. Who are you? Jane. Who are you? It's me. Isaac. From the tapes. Great. What do you want? Are you okay? No. You were alone. That started a call. Cling to the Music doesn't just entertain. It doesn't just give you a hop in your step. It isn't just there. Music saves. Music saves Jane, she explained to me later that night. But that doesn't mean her life is perfect. It doesn't mean she's endlessly happy. All it is is something significant for her to hold on to, something to motivate her, something to live with when the world just wouldn't. But that night I realized something even more important. Jane hadn't given me music. Music had given me her. And finally, we both had someone to live with when the world just wouldn't. To Jane, I scribbled. One day, this obnoxious stranger gave me a tape that changed my life. Your friend, the sad little boy at the bus stop, Isaac.